Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we are going to assemble our DIY electric foil, or our e-foil as they're known. And we're gonna go through it all the steps in real time just to see what it would take at the beach or wherever we're going uh, in order to assemble this and then get ready to ride. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna start down with is our mast motor and all of our connections in order to mount our uh, fuselage here to the bottom. So first we're gonna flip this thing over and using our uh, pre-lubricated uh, uh, bolts, I put a little bit of anti-seize on here to prevent corrosion and bind binding or uh, knurling of the metals where they'll kind of bind up and get stuck together. So uh, by using a little bit of either petroleum jelly or uh, anti-seize, which is a, uh, it's a lubricant with some uh, graphite in it. Kind of helps it from uh, seizing up and preventing you from being able to disassemble it, especially if it's stayed assembled after being in the water. Uh, a lot of folks will encounter that where they're no longer able to get their uh, pieces apart because it, uh, two dissimilar metals will corrode between and uh, uh, basically create a corrosion that locks up the, the fasteners. So now we've got our fuselage mounted. Uh, now we're gonna transfer this over to the board. So move these straps. And what I like to do is I like to line them up to the back first, and then I like to slide in uh, these little T-nuts from the top. So what I'll do is I kind of line this up, drop the first one in, get a few turns on it, drop the second one in. We'll take a look, get a few turns on that. And then coming up here, uh, Finding these, what we'll do is kind of use the Allen head and just push that down till it lines up on the track. Once it lines up and I can see down through the hole, put this one in. Now I've got a few turns on all of them. And it looks like I had one slide down, so I'm actually gonna just lift the board and get that to reveal itself so I can find it. There it is. And then I'll bring that one back. And I'll again use the Allen head to line it up. Drop it in, get a few turns on it. So what I like to do, just like fastening a, a wheel on a car, I like to kind of get things all snugged up before I send it home and lock them down. Uh, once they're locked in, you actually can have one start binding on another. So this way they're all kind of secure. And I usually get about another little half turn once I start feeling some resistance. Again, not going too crazy. Uh, you don't want to pull, pull these out of your board and unnecessarily cost, uh, cause them to bind up either. So you, know, you want them to last your ride but you don't want to have a, a permanent torque on here where you can't ever get them apart. So a few more on there and just a last little bit. All right, now that those are all tight, we can now transition this board to be up on the wings uh, so we can mount the e-foil box and electronics. So there's a handy ha handle right here. This is something new. I absolutely love this feature. Again, this board is from uh, Sandy Point Progressive Sports. Uh, it's designed by Mike Klein. It's a five foot six inch, uh, 28 inch wide, uh, 28 inch wide board, uh, 75 liter displacement. Uh, I weigh 175 pounds. Uh, the electronics in that case over there, that's 30 pounds. Between all that, the aluminum mass, the motor, um, I do not have a problem getting up on foil at all with this. Uh, so uh, I actually feel I could probably get away with a little bit smaller board, uh, but it definitely is easy to get up with a 75 liter. Now I did make uh, one little modification. Once I decided I was gonna stay with this, I put a little spot in here because I've got uh, a cable that runs up from the electronics. Uh, so using this, it's actually a nice little feature. Normally you could rest your foot back here, 
uh, I'm using this actually as the backstop of my electronics. So uh, I can open this up where I've got a quick connect for the cables. You can kind of see what we got on the inside here. We've got a controller, uh, radio frequency pickup, an anti-spark switch, a whole bunch of batteries all in a box. And we've got four holes in this box. One for power, one for water in. And then over here, we got one for water out, so I can look down and I can confirm I've got water coming out. I've got a button for power, uh, so I can see that. So I had to punch four holes in the, in the, in the box. It's a watertight, uh, water-gasketed uh, case, so uh, so far I haven't had any issues with water infiltrating and messing with the electronics. I've done something unique with the straps here, made them very easy to modify the lengths um, normally you'd run this in and out of these, uh, of, uh, the straps, uh, for these, I don't even, I forget what you call these, but what you do is, uh, you run them in this, in such a way that allows you to very quickly open these up and I can open these straps in a way I can get them around the box without fighting them, um, binding against each other. And then just as easily I can bring it back over and line it up on the box bring our other strap up here so going with straps and not going through with uh, through bolts as the original design uh, we just have less chance of water uh, every part every point that you put in a box with a hole is a point of failure and I've seen enough of them to know uh, less is more and if we can get away with just a couple of nice easy holes that are able to be sealed up with a gasket or a ring that's much better so then we run our, our straps tight. I got them just so that these get over the edge. Again, just lifting up on the box and moving them around a little bit. Very, very easily adjustable. All right, so I kind of set them up so it's a little bit one side the box. Then I come back around here, knowing the straps will pull tight. That centers it up, so I kind of play that curve a little bit. that again get the first one get the second one and now I'll kind of look at where this is here we'll bring up our power cable uh, this is uh, I think this is an 80 amp trolling motor three wire quick quick cable connector that lines up here we give a little twist to lock it in and then we run our Hose, these are actually for uh, water softeners and or remote uh, RIO systems, or sorry, not uh, RIO, but the reverse osmosis systems. So we got a quick connect there for our water. Once that's all, we kind of draw it tight. And just like that, we've got our setup to go e-foiling. So from here, we can turn on the controller, holding it to power and uh, we'd be, and then be able to turn on the power here and then give it throttle. And that's what it takes uh, to get assembled and ready to go. Uh, from here, the whole board can be picked up. Again, it's gonna be 30 pounds in the box. The boards, uh, I haven't gotten a weight on there, but they weigh next to nothing compared to other boards I've had. So they're incredibly light, uh, easy to handle. Uh, let's see if I can get a video of how I normally pick this up. I, and pick it up, and then something like that. So easy enough to handle. If I wanted to, I could come on over here, get a handle, hand in there. So more than a few ways to be able to maneuver this. So depending on which way I want to approach it, pick it up. I've got a couple options. Again, depending on how you've got yours set up, uh, you may find better ways of handling it but uh, very easy to maneuver. So thanks for watching.